Salutations, everyone, and welcome to our midweek review. I'm your host, Pastor Nick, where each week while we are in a sermon series, we'll be diving a little deeper into this past Sunday's reading. And so we are just kicking off a new sermon series called Yes, You, where we're looking at five unlikely heroes of the faith, and we're learning how God uses even the folks who might feel little or small or maybe out of place and can use them to do great and glorious things in the name of the Lord. And so, this past Sunday, we started with the story of David and Goliath. What I love about this story is that when we take a step back and we remember, when is the first time we heard of this story? It's probably in Sunday school when we're little, little kids, right? At least that's how it was for me. But in reality, let's think about this story. What is the story about? It's about the middle of this war that Israel is facing and this young shepherd boy going and killing a giant. And this is the story, one of the first stories that we teach to our children about the power of God. I think on some level that is just humorous. And yet the story is so much greater than just David defeating Goliath. It's no mere child's play. Instead, what we learn is that this story is a dramatic moment for the people of Israel and for the monarchy, and it's an integral part of the story of the Lord's defeat of the evil on earth. If we unpack this story a little bit more, our reading this past Sunday came from 1 Samuel chapter 17, verses 34 through 37. This is the section where David is talking to King Saul and David's explaining his faith in the Lord and how God will see Israel through this battle, through this difficult time, through David defeating Goliath. And so it's really unique. While this is one of the first stories we teach children about our faith in God, let's go back to the very beginning when this story was first told. So one of the first things that the people of Israel, when hearing this story, would have understood or imagined was the understanding that the small can defeat the large. See, the ancient Hebrews who first told this story were a small people in a small kingdom, and they were surrounded by much more powerful kingdoms on all sides. Essentially, they faced many Goliaths. So it was good news that the small can win a battle against the large, and still good news for us today. It's the original underdog story. Uh, the second lesson of the story was about their very first king, David, the shepherd boy. David, who would grow up to be their first and greatest king. He would be the king against which all other kings would be compared. And the third lesson was that David's bravery came from his confidence that he was fighting for God's honor and that God was on David's side. Now, to our ears, this may sound misguided or, or even arrogant, but don't we believe that when people stand up and fight for what is right, the justice of their cause should make them braver? That we are called to live into these kingdom values, to share God's love, to share God's grace with others. And then in order to do that, we need to stand firm and be bold in our faith. Because yes, each and every day we will face different giants in our lives. But we can always remember that our God is a giant slayer and will see us through the battles ahead. Thank you so much for joining me this week, and I look forward to seeing you all next week. Bye for now.